check it out, Bobby. You got a YouTube, the Ratchet and Clank uh, trailer for 2016. It looks awesome. Unbelievable. <laughs> can, can you hear like, YouTube that and play that for everybody? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to do some stuff on YouTube. I'm actually uh, going to be... Uh, I'm actually doing a series of stuff that's going to really uh, upset someone. Yeah, I'm, that's really going to upset it? someone. Is it going to remain? Is, Ken, his, his, his name is Ken Moran. He goes by Brother Ken. You know, the guy is okay. a uh, is a uh, minister, is a minister and everything. And wants to talk about what you got to be as a Christian, and he loves to talk down down to people who he doesn't think are Christians and how Christians aren't doing things the right way. He loves to knock the music. He always, but man, if you saw what this guy's ego is like, I'll tell you, the man's a double talker. The man's not anything. And uh, I recently found out too that he has a second YouTube page where he actually is a shark wrangler. Well, my opinion on the whole religion thing is, I I believe uh, in religion, but I am not a firm believer in religion. I have nothing against anybody uh, who is diehard on religion and always believes in reading the Bible and doing things with religious practices. I have nothing against anybody in that regard. Uh, it's just the people who consistently always throw religion in our faces. They need to get lives. I think that no matter what way you choose to live your life with a religious practice or, or what not, no matter what way you choose to live your life, I don't care if it's smoking 20 packs of cigarettes a day, drinking until your liver blows up, you only live once. No matter how you choose to live your life, that's your decision to make. You have a freedom of speech. That's why we were given the right to freedom of speech. We have There's something called the Constitution of Rights. And every idiot out there knows about the Constitution of Rights and what that details. And that is that you are entitled to be your own person. And nobody should have to, you know, you should be doing that. Okay. Thank you. Up and yeah, Jonathan yeah. Clark has just been called. Yeah, I have. Yeah, oh, and I'll be, I'll be around. I'll still be here till the end of the show. <laughs> Keep and going. The end of the show is coming up here. I did extend us for an extra half hour, so the end of the show okay. is going to be coming here in a little while. Um, there must be, you must be getting your breakfast or your lunch. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, but we're going to stay here on sandwich. here. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving you until this is over. So did you get another peanut butter sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm tired of peanut butter sandwiches, Bob. I think it's uh, I think it's something like uh, what I think nuggets this time around. Oh, you got nuggets? Yeah, I got nuggets. Like dinosaurs. Now. <laughs> yeah, oh you're well, they're... the same ones your nephew is. They're probably shaped like dinosaurs. Yeah, he he likes the uh, the ones shaped like dinosaurs and uh, different uh, different animals and the animal crackers and I think the goldfish crackers are the ones that oh, he's yeah. he's hooked on. Just like so I think that Dylan, he, that he, was, he was that age. <laughs> How is Dylan doing anyway? Well, the kid's going to be turning 15 this month. So it shows he, you how far he's come. He's a, he plays oh baseball. Oh, my God. He's, he he's plays, a, yeah, he's, I remember him when he was a kid. He used to try to be a wrestler. Oh, so, yeah, well, yeah, well, he was doing karate at the time, and he found, found out uh, talking to J.T. Evans, I was talking to a talking to a wrestler and he he wanted to he, he challenged him to a fight saying his saying JT Evans wrestling versus Dylan's karate and he, yeah, he and did that ever was, come to be <laughs> we did we talked about doing something like that for fun if JT Evans ever made it down here for an independent show it was going to be it was going to be the one dollar challenge each person had to put up a dollar <laughs> And the winner, when whoever got it, ultimately got two dollars. <laughs> then at the same time, he's making the bet, making sure everything. He now Dylan at that time was was collecting money all the time. He was collecting change, collecting dollar bills. His goal was to get up to a hundred dollars, just so he could have a hundred dollar bill. So instead of putting his dollar on the line, he lo he looks to his grandmother and goes, "Grandma, you got a dollar." <laughs> <laughs> And uh, did that match ever happen between himself and J.T. Evans? Nah, it didn't. 
Every everyone, I, I don't think J.T. Evans would have wanted to look like a bad guy, a bad guy if he won. <laughs> everyone, everyone kept saying how uh, how Dylan was going to win that fight. <laughs> you know, well, J.T. Yeah. Evans didn't stand a chance. <laughs> He'd be a good one too to be on radio. I don't know why you haven't got him on radio with you, uh, Dylan. He really doesn't want to do that. He's focused on playing baseball, so okay. So he's like yeah, a fan a, of the, the playoffs and stuff too now. Like he's following that. Yeah. Yeah, he's a freshman. It wasn't yesterday I heard Dylan. It wasn't yesterday we spoke about Dylan because, geez, I remember Dylan when he was only probably about four or five years old, and he couldn't. He was, you know, just being introduced to everybody. And I think he made a couple of appearances on your show, and uh, you know, after then he kind of just vanished. You know, kind of went down a different route. Well, my uh, my brother was uh, starting to do other things, and uh, so he wasn't around as much. Yeah, Dylan. When uh, when especially when I came here to Blog Talk Radio, yeah, he would hear some of the shows I was talking talking on, and some of them he would hear yeah. he would hear my conversation, and get intrigued by it. And the one he loved the most was, of course, uh, you were there for a couple of their shows too. Was uh, and I wonder whatever happened to them. Morning Coffee with Mo and Vic. Uh, I heard you doing the commercial he, for them. I remember the yeah. was it the commercial? Yeah, and Sylvia's coffee. I did two different coffee commercials, and I remember doing the commercial for those guys. And and uh, he he liked that show, didn't he? I remember him liking that, having a, taking a liking to that program. Yeah, yeah. Mo and Vic Morning Coffee. He uh, he talked on the air one time with uh, Miss Laugh a lot. No, learning about laughter yoga and Dylan. He was a char- He was characterized in the laughing. He didn't know the fake it till you make it with laughter yoga, and he was acting like he was like, like he was acting uncontrollably, rolling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, yeah. Well, it was nice to know he's still around, though. It's uh, because I was yeah. wondering about him. I wondered how come you had not mentioned him or you hadn't spoken about him. So it's nice to know he's still kicking around, doing this or doing that. Yeah. It's amazing yeah, what so, kind of technology we have out there now, too, Bob. Like for these kids, because you people sit back and they wonder, you know, how, you know, why are kids so intelligent now? And it's because of all this technology that is out there now. I mean, back in the day when me and you were growing up, I mean, we were lucky if we had a Power Rangers uh, action figure or one of those Zords or, uh, you know, a costume you would buy for twenty bucks at Walmart. Now there's just so much stuff out there. You've got these leap pads. You've got these. Um, these uh, iPad minis, which have just completely blown up. Uh, everybody has one of those iPad minis uh, going for about 250 to $300. I mean, the technology out there for these kids now is amazing. I don't think there's a kid out there now that doesn't have a cell phone at, uh, between the ages of 7 to 10. I mean, my God. Yeah, I know what you mean with that one. And... Uh... And you know he he had a cell phone. He, you know he actually started using a cell phone actually around the age of uh, he was he was eight or nine years old when he had his when he had his first cell phone. He was playing games on uh, any one cell phone that that had games. He would play those even 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 being younger than that. I mean you know he at one time my girlfriend at the time. You know, she was she was big on the games that Skype used to have on on it, on it mm. before Microsoft took it over. She, me, and her would be playing some of those games, or even on, uh, or on MSN Messenger. And Dylan just had to play games with her. <laughs> you know, yeah, and I'll tell you another thing too that's really taken over. When you're talking about games, uh, the the apps on Facebook, uh, I don't know how many requests I get to play these different games, these different apps that Facebook has. They have an endless library of games, and every single day they're putting out these new ones. The one that I was actually hooked on there for the last year was you had to build your own Smurf cottage. Remember that one? Yep, I remember what that one was like. (laughs) And you had to get enough Smurf bucks. To build your own Smurf cottage, and I think I had the best Smurf cottage on Facebook by the time it was all said and done. <laughs> I think that's what we should all do. The next t- time the Smurf movie comes out, we should all have a Smurf cottage competition on the Wacko Radio Network. Lisa should build her own Smurf cottage. Chuck Skull should even build his own Smurf cottage, and you should build your own Smurf cottage. 
Wimpy Apple should build his own Smurf cottage, and I will even build my own Jonathan Clark impressive Smurf cottage, and then we'll compare Smurf cottages. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you, the one thing that I have to say that I liked about the Facebook games, I did, I did something very similar to that back when I played Farmville. Of course, uh, doing the uh, the already established city of Yeovil, and the only thing you really had to build up was your own apartment, create your own character, and you could go anywhere and you could uh, talk to anyone you wanted to talk to that might have been mm. there with their own character, no matter where they were. I went into what was the coffee shop on uh, Yeovil, <laughs> and uh, that's where I met uh, someone who... Who I be who unfortunately uh, we stopped talking, so she pretty much unfriended me because we did stop talking for a while there, you know. And I, we, me, her, and I actually talked about dating. You remember her, Carla? Oh yeah, mm. Carla. She was uh, she was uh, she was someone who I actually met there, and uh, I'll tell you, I wonder what it would have been like uh, if me and her did uh, go on a date. I wonder what it would have been what, like. Uh, there isn't, there hasn't been much in the last seven or eight years. That I don't think I have been there for with uh, in pretension to your life. It seems like everything that's happened over the last seven or eight years, I have known about. These guys in the chat room do not know how far back me and Bob go. There are some people who show up in these chat rooms who know it, and there are others who don't. But what you got to do is you got to go do a Google search on so it's like blog talk and uh, different just search resources and just type in Jonathan Clark Wackle Bob. You guys can literally go back to any era, any year, any episode of any show that we've ever done. And there's so much history that goes back through the years. It's unbelievable. That's why I said to Bob the other day in the chat room, he should have something on his network where he plays uh, Wackle Bob Classics because there's so much that Wacko Bob has. I don't know why he doesn't play Wacko Bob classics from all of his audio files. There's so much potential uh, with his network, and Bob well, needs to yeah, do Well, yeah, as uh, far, far as a lot of things go, you know, a lot of my wrestling shows, uh, you know, before pre-blog talk radio, you know, I really don't have anything. Any of those audios were pretty much, uh, pretty much unloaded, and uh, you can't find them anywhere anymore. <laughs> 